You okay? I dropped you. Caught behind the Venetian blinds Had to reach for the city lines and This ain't where I belong Ain't looking me more than what I've become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since now What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket in plain sight all alone. I think it's time for me to go burn all bridges. All I know, I got lost along the way, fell between the foam. Stanley, Stanley G. Squirrel, what are you doing? Running away. Is it something I said? Hello from the off-grid homestead. How are you guys doing? It's beautiful here. Look at the sky. It's gorgeous. Look at it. It's so warm. It's like 21 degrees so awesome just kidding it is 21 degrees but it's cold and the winds blowing and it stinks but look the chickens are out I got the GoPro out here because my phone's not happy with the cold so hopefully you guys can see because I can't see what you're looking at so. but yeah they're uh, they're enjoying some some beverage it's probably cold and frozen so I'm gonna try and break it up although it looks like maybe they've broken it up themselves they're pretty good about that before I get out here let's see guys do I need to break your ice up I don't know if you can see that it's got some ice but they've broken some in there right. so they can get out of the shadow of the Sun there you go guys Job done. Woohoo! It's a tough one. It's a tough one. There you go. Get a drink. There you go, girls. Get a drink in there. These are like watering. But anyway. So we got a little snow here, um, we got just a couple inches of snow, but it's enough so I plowed the driveway last night while Scott was at work, um, at least the hill, because we like to keep the hill cleaned off, and, uh, and that way when the sun hits it, it can try to melt it. Today probably won't do much melting, but um, at least, you know, it's clean so we can drive in and out. and. The snow's sticking to the ice, so it's not too bad. Before that, it was pretty icy. So, but it really is gorgeous out here. Um, just cold, but it's not as cold as some places are getting. I just watched uh, Prairie Sunset Ranch, and I think he said it was 40 below where he is. He was out doing cattle and stuff, and that's just crazy. Crazy stuff, his eyebrows were all just iced over. Whoa. He's up in uh, Manitoba, Canada, I believe. I believe, don't quote me, but I believe that's where he is. But anyway, he's up there and it's cold. Uh, so yeah, just out here with the chickens and uh, just enjoying the sunshine, I'm trying to get a little bit of warmth from the sun. It's not really working. <laughs> so I haven't plowed out here yet. Um, Still needs to be plowed but I did do a little bit through here for the chickens and uh, I did their path but then I came through with the plow just a couple times to to clean it out so they can come out here and peck around and do whatever because I can't keep them in although we are supposed to get 
some negative temperatures uh, in a few days and I probably will um, I probably will lock them in their run so that they can have the stay in the run for the day and uh, they won't like it but I'll get them a flock block which is a big block of seeds and uh, stuff that they really like to eat sunflower seeds and all kinds of stuff and it's all in this big block and they just peck at it and it keeps them kind of busy and I also may get um, some uh, like a head of cabbage and hang that in there or a couple heads just to keep them busy to peck at I haven't tried that before but I'm pretty sure they'd probably eat it they eat just about everything so um, but they're pretty much standing in the Sun over here and their bowl is black and in the Sun so it's staying fairly thought out right now that wind is blowing um, there's another one in the coop and uh, and I kind of block that from the wind, but I got to go in and see if it's um, frozen over, which it probably is. So I'll have to stir that one up. And we have a new friend here on our homestead. And uh, I want you guys to meet her. Her name is Miss Bun Bun, or Bun Bun for short. Um, she is a girl and uh, she was my nephews and they decided they didn't want her because uh, she was in the house in like the basement area but she was getting out and chewing cords and they didn't like that so i have her in the coop with the chickens and i think she likes it in there with them she i think she likes the company she's gotten used to me the first week or so she was a little bit hesitant and she ran away from me and kind of growled at me a little bit a few times uh, but she has gotten used to me and she comes running when she sees me because she knows I'm the treat lady just like the my feathered friends over here and um, she is a good girl she really is a good girl so I'm in the coop with Bun Bun right now I just let her out so she can run around a little bit I got a chicken in the nest box over here I'm sure she's thrilled to have Bun Bun running around I gotta block off the exit so she doesn't get out. She's under there right now. Hi, Bun Bun. What are you doing, girl? So I wanted to get a bunny because I want the rabbit. I want the rabbit poops for um, my compost for my garden. And uh, so. I told my nephew, if you don't want the bunny, let me know because I will take her so that I can have the poop. So that's what I have Bun Bun for, but she's also a little, a little friend to the chickens. So uh, I'm just letting Bun Bun run around a little bit and stretch her legs and get crazy if she wants to. She can be crazy in here. And it's still fairly warm. Um, we still have the sawdust on the floor. So uh, she's got quite a bit of sawdust in her, um, or pine shavings, I should say, in her little caged area. And uh, that's nice and deep. And she digs around in there. And uh, she loves it when I clean it out. Because then she goes around and just does her own little housekeeping, moves things around where she wants them. <laughs> and... Uh, She's pretty funny. She's pretty funny. But yeah, we're adding the her poop to the compost, which is really cool. And I just wanted to enrich our compost even more for the garden for next year, or for this year, when uh, for next growing season. And uh, I have some big plans. Don't know if they're going to manifest for the garden this year. I'm hoping so, but it means spending a little bit of money. Um, when I first did the garden, it was small and... I got uh, fabric or uh, weed block put down and I put um, landscaping chips uh, and I used the black because I thought that would help. I like the color anyway and I just wanted to stick with one color and do that whole thing. Well, I extended the garden twice since I did that and I never put down any more weed block and I haven't put in down any more of the landscaping chip stuff that uh, that I put down originally. So I need to do that this year, which means I need to spend a little money and buy 
some of that, which isn't terrible. If I catch the sale early in the spring, typically you can get a bunch of bags for pretty inexpensively. So you get a good view of uh, the inside of the chicken coop with all the, the, um, the cobwebs and everything hanging. We decorated for Halloween and I just left it up. <laughs> it's just part of having chickens. Everything gets dusty, man, dusty. But they're, they're good girls too. And Yeti is a good rooster. So I can't complain about any of that. That's about what's going on here. And uh, we're just getting into the cold, cold. We've had some cold nights and cold days, but this is going to be a uh, stretch of cold that's coming in that's going to last a while. And of course, Scott has to work through it, unfortunately. And uh, so uh, my job is to get up in the night and fill the stove as often as I can and keep the woods, the, the wood pile stocked up inside and, uh, you know, just keep everything from freezing up and warm and make some good food for him to eat when he's at work, which is actually today, I think I'm going to make some of my hamburger soup, which ends up being more of a stew when I'm done. Um, he likes it a little less watery than, uh, you know, the stew instead of the watery soup. So, and that's fine with me. I don't care. It's all good. It's all good. And I think that'll warm him up nicely. So we're going to go with that. Copy.